Good day, everybody. Uh, today I will share on how to light up a charcoal disc uh, so you could burn your or melt your copal blanco, uh, copal maya, lagrima, copal negro, or any other type of resin. Um, I'm going to use a this clay plate, very small. For demonstration purposes, usually what's used is like an incense burner, a popush comic. Uh, but today I will use this disc, uh, this little plate here. Uh, so what we have, going to bring out this charcoal disc. This charcoal disc I bring back from Mexico. I have never seen them be sold here in the United States. It's the best one that I have ever used that I still use for many years. I've tried other types of charcoal and nothing really has worked. Um, they either die out and I have to keep on lighting them up or something happens. But this charcoal here, it only takes one time to light it up and you will see that red will circle around the um, charcoal disc and then go towards the middle. So you want to be um, safe once you light it up leave it inside the container or the incense burner and do not touch it if you need to move it for any reason make sure you use a metal object to do that um, do not use your hands and please be safe to keep this away from children and animals um, what could happen is that they could get be very curious and um, either drop the container or try to touch the charcoal and then um, be burnt so we do not want that okay so I will start by lighting up the charcoal so you could either grab a match um, a match or a lighter um, and then okay here we go a while okay first thing you do is just light up the edge the edge of the charcoal disc here that's all you have to do um, it will take care of it by itself it will burn all around it will become red all around first on the edges as, as you can see here okay and again if you need to move it around for any reason Make sure you have a metal object, something near you. It could be scissors, it could be anything. I'm usually, um, I'm used to grabbing these hot charcoals already. Uh, I've been burning copal for a very long time, so I'm used to the charcoal. This is one of the ways you could burn resin, and you could burn any type of resin on, on a charcoal disc. Um, the other way to burn resin is by doing it traditionally with mesquite charcoal, which anocote, which is firewood. It's a longer process, um, but that's how it's traditionally used in ceremony. And maybe I will um, show how to do that on our next video. This is my first video. <laughs> demonstrating anything ever so I'm a little shy it's my first time so thank you for your understanding uh, so here we see so what you want to do is wait a couple of minutes okay before placing any piece of resin on a charcoal disc and it's not just this charcoal disc is it's any charcoal disc what happens if you place it too early you could kind of suffocate the charcoal disc which means it will uh, the charcoal disc will die out and your piece of resin will not melt and then you will just have a piece of resin on top of a charcoal disc that's no longer hot and so you want for this particular charcoal you wait about um, at least three minutes okay at least three minutes so you see that it's going all around on the sides and even under if you really want to get a very good hot charcoal before placing resin, you could wait like 10 minutes. 
Um, so it could be as early as three to four minutes. Um, and remember that if you're going to place your resin, because the edge was the first one to light up, that's where you want to put your resin first, would be not so much in the center, because what happens is that the redness, the, the fire is um, going towards the inside or the middle. First, it lights up all around. And if you place your resin, you want to place it on the edge first, okay? Not in the middle, because you may not see any, uh, you may not see it melt. And the way that you know that it's working for you is the resin will melt. Copal Blanco melts. It, it becomes nothing on the charcoal. Um, so it's been a couple minutes now and I'm going to bring out some Copal Blanco, white Copal. Okay, so what you want to do with your, if you're using copal blanco and you receive a big chunk, a nice big chunk, you want to break it into pieces. You do not want to place a big chunk of copal blanco on your charcoal because what could happen again, even if the charcoal is completely red and lit up, um, it could still suffocate the, the piece of charcoal if the piece of copal is too big. So what you want to do is break your copal blanco chunk into little pieces, crumbs, different sizes. And you do that by just leaving it in a bag, leaving your copal blanco in the bag and just kind of hitting it with either a hammer, a heavy rock and until it, it breaks into pieces because copal blanco is like hard candy it will break into little pieces right away so here we have different sizes here get closer and it is recommended that you start placing little pieces of your copal blanco see that on the edge so you could get the best out of your copal blanco and you see how fast is it's melting so this will sh kind of give you an idea see that was just a couple of seconds because it was a tiny tiny piece so we could add a bigger piece like this oh it went towards the middle and here we are okay maybe it's gonna start melting maybe not okay i'm using one hand okay so it's gonna it's starting to melt let's see here there we go and uh, it's not really where it's red see it was more towards the middle but now it's starting to catch up so I threw the little piece and did not get it to the edge where I wanted so that's what happens so if the piece is too big you could just imagine what will happen so here you see it now melting so copal blanco will melt and you will get a nice fragrance. Okay, copal blanco has this beautiful fragrance. And let me put another piece on the edge. Here we go. Now it fell on the edge. And that's a, a nice little bigger piece and it starts melting. And that's what we want. Okay, so even if you have a lot of little pieces, you don't want to place a bunch of big little pieces on the charcoal until it's completely red even in the middle. Okay, if not, it's not going to melt. It's not going to burn. And again, you want to place them on the edge first. And some people use tweezers to place the small little pieces on the edge because um, you could, uh, it's very hot. So don't want you to burn your fingers. Um, once, once you could leave the charcoal burning this particular charcoal I like it because it will last at least 30 minutes it will be good for and burn for 30 minutes so I could leave it like this without placing any copal any resin and just kind of walk away and come back and it will still be lit so it, it lasts about 30 to 45 minutes um, I was burning uh, some melting some copal earlier on a charcoal and um, that's how long 
the charcoal lasted for for me okay so it doesn't mean you have to continuously place resin or copal blanco on your charcoal nothing will happen to the charcoal it will just be uh red on the inside so even if see even if you don't see it red on the outside it does not mean it's not red in the inside so look i am kind of removing the ashes from the charcoal disc and you still see that it's red inside it still has a lot of life left to it um, some people if you have an incense burner you could just kind of shake the incense burner and then the ashes would will fall off um, so you could leave it here for a little bit if you don't want to continuously burn um, because if you could still see the copal blanco that I placed be first that I missed by placing on the edge is burning right now it's melting right now um, so that's it was a bigger piece so it's taking a little longer so you do this by little pieces and you will know how much you want to place and and how big so I like a piece like this would be okay to place on the edge or once the center, once the charcoal is completely red after about 10 minutes. But in the meantime, you want to place little, little pieces. Okay. And so your copal blanco does not go to waste and um, by not melting. This uh, particular um, charcoal I brought back from Mexico. I've never seen it be sold in the United States. It's a really good charcoal. Um, it lasts for a long time. And uh, this is the kind of charcoal I use indoors at my altar. And um, I use the mesquite charcoal, the traditional, and, and light up the traditional um, uh, burn copal with um, mesquite charcoal outside which is done how it's done traditionally it's been done and it's still done um, but that's outdoors I would never do that indoors because it's a lot of smoke a lot of fire and it may not be safe and this um, type of charcoal has has been really um, good for me to burn indoors um, if you are done with melting your uh, or placing resin on your charcoal you could either let it um, let it consume by itself which will take about I'd say to be safe maybe an hour um, just let it sit there and do not place any more resin or what you could do if you want to make sure that there's nothing else burning. Uh, take a glass of uh, or a container with water and throw the charcoal inside the water. Uh, do not throw red, you know, charcoal into the trash can. It is not safe to do that. Or outside, um, don't know what could happen if there's dry grass and then you have. So to be safe, just place it in a container with water. And then you make sure that it's it's all um, and it's died off. The other um, the other suggestion I was uh, was going to give is that um, I think that's it that I wanted to share with you today. I may make another video of how to light up mesquite charcoal the traditional way. And it will last much longer. It lasts several hours. Um, that's for ceremonial purposes. If, if your uh, ceremony is a couple hours long, uh, that's the best maybe a method to do that. And if it's outdoors, if it's indoors, this charcoal will do the job. And you might have to light up a second charcoal, but that's okay um, because it's it, it does last. Um, a long time. Um, the other last suggestion is copal blanco in this case, or, or sometimes like copal goma, um, is very sticky. 
So what you want to do, and it's getting stickier here because I'm so close to the heat that it's starting to melt. Um, you want, if you want to take the stickiness away from your hands, uh, you could rub your hands with a couple drops of, drops of olive oil and then just wipe off with a piece of paper. And then you could wash your hands with water. So if you place olive oil on your hands, you can just rub them together. Um, don't place them under water. Before you do that, just wipe with a piece of paper and then you could wash your hands. And that's the most um, easiest way to get the stickiness off your hands. So that is all for now. As you see, I stopped placing Copal Blanco on my charcoal and it looks, you can still see some redness inside. I'm just going to let it sit here. I'm going to be placing more Copal Blanco um, later on. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me by emailing me at teyolia13 at gmail.com. That's T-E-Y-O-L-I-A-1-3 at gmail.com. I'm turning off the comments for this video. I prefer that people contact me directly with any questions. Um, so that is all for now. Uh, thank you for watching this video and we will see each other soon. Tlaso Kamati.